Hello friends, press the subscribe button and hit the bell icon for more such easy videos. Hello friends, do you know that the wall lizard that we see, they have only females, they have no male in their community. In the course of evolution, they have adapted themselves in such a way that they will lay egg and from that egg, the young ones will hatch out. Evolution has found a way to make males obsolete in one of the species of lizard. Which species? Whiptail lizards. They are found in the deserts of New Mexico and Arizona and even in India. They are also studied because they have no males. Only females are present. And such condition where the female lays the egg and from the egg hatches out the young ones. It is called as parthenogenesis or even it is called as virgin birth. It means a female can give birth to young ones without male. And the entire female species produces egg where no males are required. Isn't it strange students that they don't require male for reproduction? When we talk about the sex determination in turtles and crocodiles, the temperature is responsible for determining the sex. It means here is no XY. Only the temperature, the temperature at which the egg hatches out. At high temperature, all the eggs will turn out into female. And at low temperature, then the critical, all will turn out into male. Now, how to remember high temperature female and low temperature male? Remember, hot chicks and cool dudes. Hot chicks means at high temperature, all female. And cool dudes means at low temperature, all will turn out to be male. It means... Here, the temperature decides the sex of the child. In crocodile also, the sex is determined by the help of the temperature. Look at this clownfish. In clownfish, all will be male and there will be a single female. So the male, one will come and will do mating with the female. The eldest one. The one which is bigger, that male will come and do the mating with the female. But let us assume that the female dies. And the male clownfish will transform its body and will become female. And then another clownfish will come and will do the mating with the female. So here in clownfish, the gender is decided like all are male and there will be only one female. But in case that female dies, the male will be converted into female. Isn't it strange? that sex is determined by different different parameters. Let's understand one more example that is sea worm. It is Bonellia viridis. Here the male and female is not decided by the temperature or it is not decided by the death of male and female. It is not decided by X and Y. It is purely decided by the landing of the larva. Where the larva is going to land on the male or on the female. So let's understand if there are larvae that are present, if the larvae lands on the female, it will be converted into male and it will do the mating where male and female lives in symbiotic relation. But if the larvae lands on the surface, then it will turn out to be female. This is how sex is determined. The landing of the larvae decides the sex of the individual. Oh friends, you would have loved the different methods of sex determination. It is not only XX or XY. It, there are different methods to determine the sex of the child. So let's meet in the next lecture. This is Sunil sir saying goodbye. Thank you very much.